mine. The next man on my list, without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, is Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy was my favourite from sort of the 2000 period onwards. Not all the way through the 2000s, but a good four or five year block there. He, he was my favourite because he was my ultimate underdog. Now, he's never, ever been good on the mic. You know, there's, there's no arguments there. He's never been good on the mic. But I think he was perhaps one of the greatest sellers in the history of the WWE. I mean, he had me truly believing that he was completely done in the ring sometimes after the moves that he took. He put his body on the line in ways that no other wrestler ever has. He's jumped off wrestlers, uh, jumped off ladders, should I say, off titantrons. He has done things in that ring that have blown my mind. As I say, I was watching in the late 80s. You didn't see any of the stuff that Jeff Hardy did. But Jeff Hardy completely gave me this whole new outlook on the WWE at a time that I was getting bored of it. And he had me hooked. I was... I had the mickey taken out of me by my friends for this because he was my favourite in a time where you had The Rock, Stone Cold, Triple H, The Undertaker all in the company at the same time. And my favourite was Jeff Hardy. He was the underdog, the greatest, you know, he was my ultimate underdog. And the TLC matches that he put on, the matches in general that he put on, blew me away. I mean, he is, he is incredible. And as I say, he, he sold so well. He told such a story in that ring that he was the underdog. He was being beaten down, but he had such a big heart and he rose above it. And he came so close several times to reaching the top. And he never quite got there. Obviously, as you know, he eventually did. He got the WWE Championship, but that was during a time that I actually stopped watching. But he did. He managed to make it, but he never could quite hold him to it long enough for personal reasons. But Jeff Hardy is going in at my number eight. Who is